It's Pete from Cheap Homesteading. I'm in the farm store today and we're going to do a little bit of a review on the cheapest incubator on eBay. I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory. I made my own incubator a few years back and um, it has worked really good. Um, I had some good success with it and I had some failures with it and I'll tell you why because I, I used a dimmer switch and light bulbs and the heat is not the most even so the eggs that were in the right temperature range would hatch out and the ones on the outside wouldn't they'd either be too hot too cold the other thing I had with it was uh, because I used a dimmer switch if the outside temperature changed a lot in the day I wasn't there to try to uh, modify the temperature so they get too hot, too cold, and if it was a big swing in temperature, you'd end up having not a really good hatch rate. Um, so that was another problem with my homemade incubator. Uh, so I thought this year we are going to go and we're going to try to find the cheapest incubator online. And what I found was the seven egg incubator, and it sold in many different brands. I, they all look like that though. So I decided I'm going to go out and I'm going to order one. So I looked on Amazon, we ordered one, and then the company didn't ship it. And I was like, okay, this is great. Uh, so then we looked around and it seemed like Amazon was all kind of sold out after that. So we looked on eBay and a company on eBay had it. So we ordered it and they actually shipped it. So I decided I got the cheapest incubator I could. So it was basically a seven egg incubator. It's got a little glass dome, and so you can watch the eggs. So we're going to unpack this thing, and uh, we're going to put some eggs in it, and we're going to see if this thing hashes out some eggs. Okay, the incubator comes in a poorly printed box. Um, it's kind of like they used a color inkjet or something like that. But, I'll have to open it and see what it is. Okay, pull this out, get the instructions. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at the instructions. Okay, so we're going to open, so there's a plastic cover. We've got the cord. And what are you supposed to do here? The instructions are actually pretty uh, straightforward. Okay, so you have the mini intelligent 7 egg incubator. Uh, so it comes with the uh, incubator, the cord, and the foam package. Power cord. Uh, there's the little uh, temperature sensor that's got to be sticking up. And you fill the little water uh, reservoir, which is the lower part there. Uh, so first step for hatching is choosing the best fertilized eggs and how to choose. Fertilized eggs must be fresh and within four to seven days after laying it is the best. The best temperature for um, saving fertilized eggs is 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. Uh, fertilized eggs are covered with a layer of powdery substance which is strictly prohibited to put into fridge and wash. So okay, so you don't put the fertilized eggs in the fridge and you don't wash them. The surface of the eggshell requires to be no deformity, cracks or spots. There is no need to be very careful with the fertilized eggs. Do not disinfect. Um, you can't achieve disinfection condition uh, because improper disinfection may reduce the hatch rate. Uh, just make sure the egg surface can be clean and no spots. When putting the egg in the machine, make sure the point is down proper operation 
observe the incubator such as add water in the machine every one to two days determine the environment of the, uh, the check the water da, 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 yada, yada, yada. I'm going to keep this as I go along case you get your little cord there and you plug it in there we go okay so there you go get the cord plug that in so we're gonna throw the water in this thing and we're gonna let it warm up for 20 minutes and then pick the best eggs and we're gonna start this process we're gonna see how well it works Okay, so it wants me, it wants me to fill this little tray throw this here so we're gonna find a place where we can set this so that it's gonna be safe no one's gonna knock it off or anything like that so 18 oh, 19 okay let's put the lid on this and see what it is It actually seems very capable of heating that space. So there you go. It's kind of holding at 38.1 degrees Celsius. It's about 20 minutes. So I looked online. It should be 37.6 to 38.3 degrees Celsius. So it's right in that range and it's held it for 20 minutes. So we're going to put our eggs in. So I went out yesterday and today and picked the best looking eggs and I'm going to uh, put them in the incubator. We'll take another good look at them, but that's nice and clean. So it says to put the point down. So we'll put one point down there. I don't want that one, don't want that one. This one's. Make sure they're all clean. I think by the time all these eggs are in here, it's gonna be plenty full. Okay, so I resisted the urge to disinfect the eggs. It says you have a better hatch rate. So we're going to put the lid back on. Okay, so one thing I noticed with this incubator, it says it's a seven egg incubator, but when you put seven full size eggs in it, it just, the lid just fits. So uh, make sure that you don't pick the largest eggs because they ain't gonna fit in there for sure. The temperature is rising now. We'll come back and take a look in a few minutes and see if it came back to the 38 degrees. I'm expecting it's gonna be a little tough for it to uh, get to 38 degrees for a little while because uh, I mean, it's heating up the cold eggs that are in there. So we'll come back and check. In about 10 minutes, it's up to 31.7 degrees. Um, and I'm pretty impressed with that because you're, you're heating up the eggs in that space too. So um, that is actually kind of impressive. So there you go. This is the uh, review on the $37 incubator. Uh, that's $37 Canadian. If uh, you're American or whatever, it could be like 32, 33. Uh, so it's a very affordably priced incubator but if it doesn't actually work properly that's not worth the 37 dollars so we're going to keep doing a bunch of updates and we're going to see how many eggs hatch from this so that's about enough for today and you guys have a good one.